So let's go through the first example. This is example number five, identifying like terms. So we have to choose the pairs of like terms in the following set. So let's have a look at the first set. I've got 3x, 3, 4xy, 5xy, and y. What I want to do is I want to find the terms that have the exact same pronumeral factors. Let's have a look at the first term. I've got a 3x. I'm going to put write the x out. Now I'm going to go through my list and find any other term that has an x in it. Well, 3 doesn't have an x. This is not going to be a like term. I've got 4xy here. There's an x here. Is this a like term to 3x? No. If you notice here, there's a y at the end here. So they don't have the same pronumeral factors. They have this second term here, this third term here actually, has three, two algebra, has two pronumeral factors, x and y. So this is not a like term to my 3x. Next one, 5x. I have an x here. Do I have the same pronumeral factors as my 3x? Well, yes. So here I've got one set of like terms. So 3x and 5x. Wonderful. I'm going to go through my list again. Y. Y is not the same as x. So we're just going to leave that. Now, the other case you might want to consider is 4xy and y. Are these ones like terms? Well, no. 4xy has an x in it, but y just doesn't have that x. So in this first example, the only set of like terms that I have is 3x and 5x. Okay, let's do the exact same for the second one. So what I'm going to do, I've got 4b, 4bc, b, 2abc, minus 7bc, and 2bc squared. Okay, I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through this one a little bit quicker. So I've got 4b. Are there any other terms that just have a b factor in my list? Let's have a look. 4bc. Nope, that has a c in it as well. b. Yeah, that one just has a b. So this one has the same, same pronumeral factors. So if my first set is 4b and b. Okay. Is there any other terms that just have a b? 2abc. Nope, they have a and c. Minus 7bc. Nope, that has a c as well. 2bc squared. Nope, it has a c squared at the end. So the first set is just these two that I've highlighted. 4b and b. Okay, let's look through to see if there's any other ones here. I'm going to look at my 4bc. Are there any other terms that have just b and c in it? 2abc. No, it has an a in it. I don't want that. Minus 7bc. Oh, nice. I have another term that just has bc as a pronumeral factor. So my, sec my second set that I'm going to form here is 4bc and minus 7bc. Let's have a look at this last term. 2bc squared. Now, if you have a look at this, this has both a b and a c. With both the letters that we want. But this isn't a like term. Can you think why? Well, if you have a look, in this example here, the C has a power 2. It has a power 2. My C and my 4BC and my 7BC, they don't have a power at the top here. There's nothing there. It's actually a hidden 1 again. So here, this last term, 2BC squared, is not going to be a like term. So all I have is 4BC and negative 7BC. So these are my only like term pairs in my set here. So that's how we identify like terms. We need to check our pronumeral factors. So we want to check if we have the same letters, same letters. And we also want to check that our letters have the same powers. If it satisfies those two criteria, so if we tick both of those boxes, then we have like term. Okay, so that's this first section on identifying like term.